Good day to viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Price Scepter for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Now I've dug out my um, GL75 for a very good reason. I've been promising <laughs> viewers for ages that I'd do this. Uh, no, not that. And um, finally I found the record, got the GL75 set up, so here we go. We're going to try and play a world record. Now it's a very particular world record, it's number 301, dance instruction record number one, the Foxtrot, how to dance it, rendered by Madam Edith Baird and Mr Robert Carr, yes him of Titanic record fame, price seven and six, what's on the other side, Burlington Tanzer Kester Dapper Dapper Dan by Von Tiltzer and Stealing, anyway. Special slow foxtrots. Anyway, we're not going to play that, so I'm going to try this side. Now, we start at about 14, 15 RPM, so not easy. And I will gradually move the speed up as we go through the record. Here we go. Now, if I put you down a second, have a look at my record albums. We'll start the GL75. And we'll start it in the first groove. Dancing lesson number one, The Fox Trot, by Madam Edith Bell, opened by Mr. Robert Carr. The essentials of the Fox Trot, as in all dances, are correct rhythm, step, and file. The box of rhythm is exactly opposite to that of the polka, for in the latter you get the long beat at the end of the bar, while in the box of it comes at the beginning of the bar. The step I will endeavor to teach you, but style can only be acquired by practice. The fundamental steps are the walk, which occupies two beats for each step, the fox stop step, which is one long step followed by two small steps, and the cross step, in which you bring one foot either in front or behind, and place it across almost parallel with the other, with the walk. Gentlemen first. Are you ready? Now, attention. Make a long step forward with your left foot first. Count one, two. Now forward with the right foot, counting three, Four. This is one bar of music. Remember to step on the ball of the foot first, dropping softly onto the heel, swinging the leg from the hip and not from the knee, which must be set straight. Try this with music, starting forward on your left foot. Now, left, right, left, right. Music 
starting backward with your right foot. Now, are you ready? Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. The lady and the gentleman should now try these steps together. To hold your partner comfortably, the gentleman should place his right hand in about the center of the lady's back, fingers pointing downward and not up, the elbow nicely raised, holding the lady's right hand in his left. The lady should place her left hand on the top of the gentleman's right shoulder a little towards the back. Down very straight, the gentleman placing his foot in exactly the position from which the lady has moved her. The lady going straight back so as to have her toe in a straight line with the other foot. The feet are placed so near as to almost rush together in proceeding either backwards or forwards. Now begin. Gentlemen forward, ladies backwards. Are you ready? Walk. Long, 
long, long, long, long, long, long, long. Now we will learn to turn. Be very particular to make the long step straight and turn on the two small steps with the feet very close together. Whatever you do, do not leave a large space between the feet when making those little turning steps. Also remember that you only make half a turn at a time, taking your long step forward on your right and backward on your left. This applies to both lady and gentlemen. Let us try the movement. Long count one, two, turn half round, three, four. Try this with music. Long turning, long turning, long turning, long turning, long turning, long turning, long turning. Now we take the cross step. Gentlemen first. Step forward on the left, count one, two. Forward on the right, three. Cross left, behind right, four. Forward on the right, count one, two. Forward on left, three. Cross right, behind left, four. When making the cross behind, the foot passes behind and is placed on the outside of the foot upon which you are standing. For instance, when the right foot is crossed behind the left, it is placed on the left side of the left foot. Try it. Long step forward with the left count one, two. Small step forward on the right three. Cross the left behind, four. Forward on the right, count one, two. More step forward on the left, three. Cross the right behind the left, four. Practice this with our method of counting and substitute for the last tom the word cross. It will then be long tom cross, long tom cross, long tom cross. Have you got it? Try it with music now. Long Hong Kong, 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 long Hong Kong. Left foot behind at four, forward on the right, bringing the left 
foot up to the right heel alongside of the right foot and step to the left oblique on three and crossing the right behind on four. The lady steps back on the right foot, brings the left heel to the right toe, passes it backwards alongside of her right foot, stepping back obliquely on the left at three, and the right foot crossing over the front of the left at four. Step back on the left, bring the right foot to the left toe, passing backwards alongside of the left foot, stepping back obliquely on the right three, and crossing the left foot over the front of the right at four. This is a very soft sway and is quite charming. Please remember that although the dance is called the fox trot, the one thing that you must not do is trot. Every step is as smooth as it is possible to make it. Now just go through the steps that we have taken. First the walk, then fox trot, then the turning step, then the trot step. Are you ready? Begin. Walk. Fox trot. Turning. Now cross. see it. My goodness, that's one of the most nerve-wracking records I've ever done. <laughs> it really got quite fast towards the end there. Well, if you've stayed to the end of this record and you've turned and pommed and all the rest of it, oh dear, oh dear, you deserve a medal and so do I. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that. It was instructive. You'll never watch this video again. <laughs> Uh, I shall play some jeers on world records next. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Thank you and goodbye.